Guys, I know sometimes I talk about fragrances on my channel that are discontinued and very, very hard, if not impossible to find. I know that I do that sometimes. Sometimes those are the fragrances that I really enjoy. But I have a treat for you today. I know where you can find a lot of these fragrances and I'm gonna tell you all about it. So let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the fashion and fragrance channel. So if you like fashion and fragrance, subscribe to the channel. That way you get notified anytime a new video is uploaded on this channel. So guys, I'm gonna be talking to you about some fragrances that are discontinued fragrances, but I'm gonna tell you where you can find them. Listen, if you guys are new to this channel, then you probably have not heard about me talk about scent split before. Now, none of these fragrances were sent to me, but I do want to recommend you guys going to scentsplit.com, which I'm gonna make sure I link it down below in the description box because all of the fragrances that I'm gonna talk about today are available, at least for a sample over at ScentSplit. Now, especially if you're a person that has a rather large collection, a five or 10 mil sample will take you a long way. Now, of course you don't get the actual bottle, but you get a nice spray itemizer with your fragrance. And again, it makes it really, really convenient to take along with you, uh, you know, take it along with you for, for the course of your day. So that's a good thing about it, although you won't have the bottle. But again, all of these fragrances are available for sample over at Scent Split. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. I'm gonna run my intro, then when we come back, I have 10 discontinued fragrances that you can get yourself over at Scent Split. So if you wanna see what's on the list, you know the routine, keep it locked right here. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. This is a fragrance that I get comments every time I talk about it, and people want to know where they can get it, and unfortunately, I don't have anything to tell them most of the time, but it is available over at Scent Split, and this one is one of my favorite fragrances, no doubt one of my top five in my entire collection. I don't think that will ever change. It's from the House of By Killian. Yep, you guessed it, Straight to Heaven Extreme. Straight to Heaven Extreme. Now, I know a few months ago that he was out of this one, uh, but when I checked the website as of yesterday, this stuff was available. Now, the main difference between Straight to Heaven Extreme and the original Straight to Heaven is just that boozy rum is amped up and that cedar and patchouli note in here is amped up as well increasing the performance from the original Straight to Heaven. So, if you've been dying to get your nose on Straight to Heaven Extreme, now's the time. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but head over to Scent Split and they do have it right now in stock where you can get your own sample. So check it out from the House of By Killian, Straight to Heaven Extreme. Now this next fragrance is one I've talked a lot about over the past few months as well, and it is also available from the House of Tom Ford. This is Tobacco Oud. Tobacco Oud, and this is a beautiful, ambery tobacco and boozy whiskey fragrance. Oh my gosh, this thing smells absolutely phenomenal to my nose. I can't get enough of this one. Oh my gosh, guys. So before, I don't know, Tom Ford, there's a few de uh, uh, designers on this list that always discon discontinue fragrances for whatever reason. It seems to be some of the best ones. Tom Ford, Killian. So you'll see those houses repeated on the list a few times. But guys, while you can, get yourself a sample of this one, man. It's from the house of Tom Ford. Again, this is called Tobacco Oud. All right, guys, this next fragrance, I have uh, termed it one of the best Oud fragrances on the designer side of things. And unfortunately, from what I understand, has been discontinued. It's from the House of Costume National, and it's called Soul. Soul. So if you're a person that is into oud fragrances, this is one of the top two oud fragrances, oud designer fragrances that I've ever put my nose on, all right? So obviously there's oud in this fragrance, as the name indicates. There's some pink pepper uh, in this as well. There's some patchouli 
uh, on the dry down. Again, it's just a very well done, well composed, phenomenal oud fragrance. And again, unfortunately, it's been discontinued. So if you're an oud lover, I think this is one that you'll want to put your nose on. It's from the House of Costume National, and it's called Soul. All right, guys, this next fragrance was one from the House of Mugler uh, that was discontinued. Um, it was fetching a pretty high uh, penny uh, on like places like eBay and Macari and things of that nature. I haven't checked on it because once I got my bottle, I stopped checking. But it is available for sample over at Sensplit, and I think this is one that that you guys need to at least put your nose on. It's from the House of Mugler, like I said, and this is Ultra Zest. Uh, this is one where I just, I love the bottle, man. I love this orange bottle. And uh, this is really just simply put a sweet, creamy, orange citrus vanilla fragrance. That's really what this is. There's orange, I mean, there's a mandarin orange, there's tangerine in this, there's ginger, just freshens it up a little bit. Um, give it a little bit of a spicy kick as well. And of course you got tonka bean and vanilla and all that stuff on the dry down to give it that creamy sweetness. Sandalwood, this is to me one of those fragrances that I think everybody should at least again just sample. At least put your nose on it. You know, again it's been discontinued and then of course we know that unfortunately uh, about a year and a half ago Mr. Mugler himself passed away so I don't know what that's gonna do for the line itself. I don't know. I mean, all the fragrances from the House of Mugler. I'm not sure how that works out, but I know for a fact this is one that's been discontinued and you can sample it over at SenseBlit. So check it out. Again, this one is called Ultra Zest. All right, this next fragrance is actually another one from Tom Ford and this one is called Plum Japonais. Plum Japonais, and it is really at its core a boozy, ambery plum fragrance. Again, this thing is absolutely top notch. Let me give myself a spray here. Now there's another fragrance out now that's called Plum and Cognac from Scent of Wood. And it's not exactly the same though, but it may be a good alternative. But if you want to, oh my God, if you want to get your nose on this, which I think is one of the fragrances that really popularized the note of plum. Again, it's boozy, it's ambery, it's plum, and it's amazing. And you can sample it while you, and sample it while you can. It's from the house of Tom Ford. Again, this is called Plum Japonais. All right, now this next fragrance actually comes from the house of By Killian, and it's a fragrance that uh, nobody really talks about. You know, I haven't really never heard anybody talk about this fragrance, and this one is called Sweet Redemption. This is Sweet Redemption, and I really, really enjoyed this uh, fragrance. To me, it's kind of a less sweet version of Love Don't Be Shy. You know, for some people, I know that one can be over the top, kind of sweet. Uh, over the top sweet fragrance, but this one is a little bit more subdued. It will kind of put you in the mind of love Don't be shy, but not quite as sweet It's an African uh, orange flower in the opening of the fragrance. So it's really really fresh and floral in the opening uh, But you get this really ambery kind of feel to this fragrance as well. There's uh, a Papanax in here uh, There's vanilla. There's benzoin. There's myrrh uh, So again a very ambery and balsamic feel to the fragrance uh, when it starts to dry down, a little bit of incense to buy, provide a little bit of sweet, se I mean, a little sexy smokiness to it. Um, again, amazing fragrance in my humble opinion. And it's discontinued. I don't know if this is one that he would ever bring back, but I think it's one that you guys would need to put your nose on. It's from the House of By Killian. Again, this is called Sweet Redemption. All right, this next fragrance is also from the House of Tom Ford. Again, Tom Ford discontinued a lot of his fragrances. And uh, this is the Grail Amber Fragrance. This is Amber Absolute. Amber Absolute. I have about 50 ml uh, in this uh, decanter. And I have actually put it <clears throat> in this Tom Ford Travel Itemizer. This holds about 10 ml. So I'll run through this 10 ml. And then I'll actually, of course, add more to it uh, when this runs out. But again, this is a Grail Amber Fragrance. Grail Amber Fragrance, man. Again, this is just so rich and resinous and balsamic. You got to put your nose on it, and this is your chance to do so and just sample it. Again, guys, a 10 mil sample. Now, you're not going to get this particular <laughs> uh, itemizer, but a 10 ml, 10 ml sample is a lot of juice, man. And you don't need a lot of this anyway, so it'll probably last you a long time. Stand out. Check it out from the House of Tom Ford. Amber Absolute. The next fragrance that I want to talk about um, that I highly recommend you guys try, you can still find this on places like eBay and stuff like that, but people are really asking for 200 plus bucks 
uh, for the most part from what I've seen. But if you've never put your nose on it, get a sample. It's from the house of Mugler as well. This is my favorite designer fragrance of all time. This is Pure Havana. Pure Havana, and there's this pipe, cherry, tobacco thing going on with this fragrance. A little bit of cacao, patchouli. Amazing fragrance. Like I said, this is my personal favorite designer fragrance on the planet. All right, so I have a backup bottle of it. And I think with as many fragrances as I have, that will probably be enough, although I've been contemplating getting one more. But I don't know. If it's just something that I, I would like for you guys to try, I recommend that you try because it's my favorite designer fragrance. But it's how, from the house of Mugler. Again, this is Pure Havana. All right, guys, this next fragrance is another one from Tom Ford that's discontinued, but nobody really talks about this. But if you like citrus fragrances, something that's good for the spring, summer that's very unique, I highly recommend you try this one. It is called Venetian Bergamot. Venetian Bergamot. Now, earlier this year, I had a, I was on a Tom Ford kick. And I tend to do that. There's, when I start to delve into a house or a particular line or brand, I'll get a lot of samples and kind of sample what I like, uh, what I may not find out what I like and may not like. Uh, I found this one to be a very spicy, uh, creamy citrus fragrance, which again, it's a very unique the unique scent DNA I've never really smelled a, a citrus fragrance this spicy it's very spicy in the opening but I really really do enjoy it so maybe you will too check it out it's from the house of Tom Ford again this one is called Venetian Bergamot all right guys and last but not least on the list is another discontinued Tom Ford fragrances Tom has about 25 <laughs> uh, different fragrances that have been discontinued but this one I really would like you guys to check this out. If you love rose oud fragrances, this is called Oud Fleur. Oud Fleur. Now, this particular scent obviously has rose and oud, but I'm going to tell you what I really love about this that makes it unique. It has a very earthy patchouli in here that goes along with the rose and oud. Oh, stuff is really, really, really dynamite. I think this is one of those ones from the Tom Ford private collection that is highly slept on. Obviously, there is a plethora of amazing Tom Ford fragrances that are in the private collection, but this is just a one to me that really gets overshadowed by a lot of the other ones. Of course, the Oud Woods of the world, the Tobacco Venise, the Noir de Noirs, which are all good in their own right, but this is one that I think Oud Rose lovers really need to get their knows it's on again it's from the house of tom ford obviously is what we're talking about it's a standout man this is called oud floor but that's it guys that is my time man i hope you enjoyed this list today again these are 10 fragrances that have been discontinued but while you think still can make sure you head over to scentsplit.com and go ahead and get yourself a sample so at least you have a chance to at least try it before the opportunity expires as always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information to find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.